This video will cover AC to DC power conversion applications, power factor correction, and synchronous rectification, and it will explain the benefits of EPC's EGAN devices for these applications. First, we'll review target applications and market drivers. Then we'll discuss AC to DC applications above 100 watts where EGAN devices can be used for the totem pole power factor correction and for the secondary side synchronous rectification. Finally, we'll explain EGAN technology benefits. The first target application is DC to DC on the secondary side synchronous rectification in AC adapt adapters, fast chargers, power supplies, with a power range between 100 watts and 6 kilowatts. Emerging target applications in this category are multi-kilowatt, uh, 48 volt, 80 plus titanium servers, consumer power supplies between 100 watts and 600 watts, like the ones for high-end TV, gaming PC, LED lighting. And the second application we'll discuss is power factor correction, or PFC, that's used for power above 60 watts for power supply and automotive applications. Now let's look at detail at the different applications. Server and telecom systems are moving from a 12 volt input to 48 volts, and the power ranges from one kilowatt up to six kilowatts. Isolated DC to DC for enterprise computing convert to 12 volt, 48 volt, and 56 volts with up to two kilowatts of power. GAN performance helps achieve the new requirements for 80 plus titanium efficiency. Smaller size and low weight is desired for LED lighting, gaming PCs, computing, and LCD LED TV adapters, and GAN enables smaller size and lighter weight. Overall, GAN enables miniaturization and very high efficiency. Let's take as, as an example the new 48 volt servers. In the traditional system, the output of the AC to DC stage was 12 volts. In the new systems, the output of the AC to DC becomes 48 volts. The power is also increased from 2 kilowatts up to 6 kilowatts. The AC to DC conversion is formed by a PFC stage that converts the AC voltage to 400 volts DC and a DC to DC stage, generally resonant LLC topology, that converts 400 volts to 48 volts for server or 54 volts for telecom. Here we show the results we achieved with this topology. A four level totem pole PFC with three kilowatts of output. We measured efficiency greater than 99% and the converter board is very small, 42 millimeters by 78 millimeters, and that allows a total system solution size of 73 millimeters by 120 millimeters. A how-to app note with further details on this design is available on the EPC website. The four-level totem pole topology shown here uses eight switches. The switching frequency of the inductor, L1, is three times the switching frequency of the FETs, Q1 through Q6, and this reduces the inductor size to one-tenth of the inductance due to the 72% reduction in volts per second. The topology requires 200 volt FETs, and for this voltage range, our newly released EPC2215 with an 8 milliohm on resistance outperforms similar on-resistance silicon MOSFETs on all parameters, QoS, QG, QGD, RDS on, and it's 15 times smaller. A four-level total pole PFC using EGAN FETs doubles power density without compromising efficiency because the higher switching frequency enables a much smaller inductor. Compared to a four-level silicon PFC, the reduced switching loss significantly increases the switching frequency and the density. And compared to a two-level GAN PFC, four-level reduces the DVD-T noise, 
reduces the EMI filter, and reduces the inductor size. The four-level PFC has higher density under the same loss conditions. The second stage is the DC to DC conversion from the 400 volt bus. The most common topology is a resonant LLC half bridge with the secondary synchronous rectification and center tap transformer. This topology is the most common because it is simple and low cost and it allows high efficiency. The half bridge FETs are 650 volts and generally these FETs come from Texas Instruments, Navitas, GAN Systems, Panasonic or others. The secondary synchronous rectification FETs are rated at 60 volts for a 12 volt output, 80 to 120 volts for a 19 to 24 volt output, and 150 to 200 volts for 48 volt and 56 volt outputs. Here we compare losses and temperature rise for an EPC 2059 150 volt EGAN FET and the best in class 150 volt silicon MOSFET. The devices have been used in the secondary side synchronous rectification for a DC to DC application from a 400 volt bus to 48 volts. EPC's EGAN FET losses are one sixth of the silicon MOSFET and the EGAN FET runs 10 degrees C cooler. We are showing a maximum power of 325 watts here, but the benefits of EGAN will increase for higher power, where therm the thermal management becomes even more critical. This is a reference design from Texas Instruments, and all the information related to this design can be accessed at this link. It's an LLC resonant converter from 390 volts to 48 volts, capable of one kilowatt power output. The resonant frequency is 950 kilohertz, and that enables a very small weight, less than 230 grams, and the super small footprint of 2 inches by 2.1 inches by 1.7 inches. It features the TI high voltage GAN FETs as input switches and the EPC 2033 150 volt EGAN FET in the secondary side synchronous rectification. The peak and full load efficiency of this reference design is 97.6%. And as you can see from the thermal image, the temperature of the EGAN FET is only 33 degrees centigrade, and that's only an 8 degrees C rise in temperature from ambient. The benefits of EGAN devices for synchronous rectification are, first, lower gate driver and conduction losses, second, up to 1 15th the size of the high and higher frequencies, third, no reverse recovery, that improves EMI and reliability, and fourth, they're ideal for paralleling due to the Miller ratio below one and no V threshold variations with temperature that can prevent faults turn on and thermal runaway in MOSFETs. The smaller gate charge and gate driver losses allow more FETs in parallel with little efficiency penalty. Finally, outstanding thermal and EMI performance from our EGAN FETs. Overall, GAN devices enable secondary two FET topologies versus a four FET full bridge without compromising efficiency and this greatly reduces total system size and cost. The full ecosystem is available to drive EGAN FETs in AC to DC applications. Several synchronous rectification controllers with integrated drivers are available for synchronous rectification. Visit the EPC website for a full list of GAN compatible integrated circuits. To sum up, EGAN FETs are smaller, more efficient, and more reliable than silicon MOSFETs. Using EGAN devices enables the highest power density for four-level totem pole input PFCs, secondary side synchronous rectification for multi-kilowatt servers and telecom systems, and 100-watt to 600-watt power supplies, fast chargers, and adapters.
for more detailed information about EGAN FETs and ICs in DC to DC and AC to DC applications, please see the third edition textbook, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion, or view more videos in the How To GAN and Why GAN series. And for more information on EGAN FETs and IC products and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.